so here's the bench that I uh, sat on. I think, looking now, I think it's the only time I crossed over onto private property. Uh, I thought because of the plaque next to the bench, I assumed I was on uh, uh, Toronto property, public property. There was just a couple here sitting on the bench. No one came out to shoo them away. And indeed, on the day that I was here protesting the first time, there was uh, a homeless man who sat there for, I don't know, two hours or something, and no one said anything to him. But if you... Uh, so obviously the problem isn't sitting on the bench. The problem is asking awkward questions. If you're a Nazi like Jordan Peterson, the CBC may invite you into their studio for an interview. But if you uh, oppose Nazism and oppose Jordan Peterson for being a Nazi, the CBC may position you as a, a, a danger to uh, their uh, staff members by um, sitting down on a bench. You're saying that Jordan Peterson sympathizes with the Nazi, the neo-Nazis of today, right? No, well, he associates with neo-Nazis of today, but he also he's also supported, uh, uh, come to the defense of uh, a neo-Nazi, Ernst Sundel. Do you know who Ernst Sundel was? Right. He's Canada's most fa most notorious neo-Nazi. He was a German uh, citizen who was who lived here in Toronto. Jordan Peterson has defended him and criticized the Canadian government for prosecuting him. Jordan uh, Ernst Sundel did two years here and five years in Germany for uh, for inciting racial hatred against an identifiable group, the Jews. Why would Jordan Peterson do something like that? Hmm. I don't know about that, so I can't comment. I don't know anything about that. But, but are I... you a fan of Jordan Peterson's? Um, I'm, I'm, I don't like to say fan. I do listen to what he his podcast with Joe, with Joe Rogan, for example, I have read part of his book, uh, 12 Rules for Life. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe that he has helped a lot of people get on their feet, get back from uh, whatever problems they had in their, in their life. Has he um, helped you personally, or like were you having issues that he... Not particularly personally, I mean, I, I've always been motivated, so I just kind of agree with what he, with what he uh, talks about in his book, for example, about how to stay motivated, how to, how to keep your life in order. How old is so important? I've not seen any evidence that he would be a neo-Nazi, mm -hmm. or that he would that he would support the Nazis. And actually, I've, in, in the in some of these um, podcasts that I've heard, that they do address this. You know, they do address that some people call you Nazi. Like a casual claim, like yeah, you just yeah. no actual facts given uh -huh. to him, no actual facts presented, yeah. and challenging him. He's he said that we should we should admire Hitler because he was an organizational genius. Do you do you agree that we should admire Hitler? No, I don't agree with that. Obviously. Do Do you think that Hitler was an organizational genius? And if so, what was it that he organized that made him a genius? The German people at the time in the 30s, you know, they were going through an incredibly rough time, right? Uh, the economy of Germany was in rubbles. Uh, yeah. The whole... The Treaty of Versailles. The Treaty of Versailles, yeah, had them completely uh, unable to grow and, and unable to... Mm -hmm. to um, it, was, it was a matter of chaos. The society was in chaos. Exactly. And, Hit, and Hitler, Hitler brought Hitler order. Tried, exactly, which is kind of... Did you hear that? Did you learn that from Jordan Peterson? No, he just said that and I agree with that. He did bring order, but he didn't bring the right the right order. Obviously, uh, which is exactly what Peterson says. Yes. No, but he doesn't. He doesn't say, okay, well, bring order by uh, by systematically murdering everybody or or a group of people. He doesn't. As he's never said that. So what? So what he he said that Hitler was. If there's one thing that Hitler was good at, it was well, he, order. He, he, that, he that's a that's a people. that's a he quote. You know, to to do what? So he organized. Um, 
what did he organize them to do? To do evil, yes, that's true, but that doesn't make that doesn't but doesn't uh, make it doesn't make Hitler good. It, no, it doesn't. Um, because Peterson said he was good at it. Well, he would. That doesn't. Okay. He was good. He was an organizational genius. That's possible. That's. I mean, that that is what happened. I mean. I mean, not everybody could have done what Hitler did, but that doesn't make him so, right, but uh, right in what he did. What do you mean his organization of the Holocaust, for example? Yeah. But, but again, uh, he was a genius at that. Yes, he was. Yeah. I mean, the way he did it. Although, although I don't, uh, I don't think, um, I don't think. Okay. So, have yeah. you heard him call Hitler an, uh, a master of dark fire, a master of speech? I haven't. I haven't okay. The thing is, I haven't really listened to much of uh, his opinion on about Hitler. I haven't listened to him do, do, that. Do you know that he's defended two Nazi war criminals, Adolf Eichmann and Wilhelm Trapp? Eichmann? He defended Eichmann? Yeah. He said that he was in no way a psychopath. He was just a mama's boy who, you know, had his, his mother did his laundry when he went off to the army. He didn't... He was just a guy. He was just a faceless bureaucrat. Just a, you know, a technocrat. I mean, thing is, Eichmann Bragg... Eichmann said if we had killed all 10 million of the Jews listed on Himmler's... Uh, chart or in his list that I would have that would have been wonderful and he, he said that I'll I can leap to my grave with joy knowing that I've played a part in the death of five million Jews who said that Adolf Eichmann okay, so okay. Peterson Peterson you know said that he was in no way a psychopath just a you know your typical bureaucrat and I see the thing is you say this and I don't know I, I never heard him say it, so like it's hard for me to believe that. oh okay yeah, well I can give you um, a, a document with 45 instances of him Praising, defending Adolf Hitler. Would you be willing to take it and read it? Um, let's talk about a few things. I, I have a few questions for you. The right, the, the right leader at the wrong time. The wrong leader at the wrong time can, can make a lot of good people evil. Can make a lot of people do evil things, believe evil things. I have friends in Hungary right now. Okay, Orban is not nearly as evil as, as uh, Hitler was, but he is. Uh, he is racist he, and he is uh, he, he like he, he hates all the immigrants. And, that's, you know, that's, that. and, and do you, and do you know who met with him in a meeting? Jordan Peterson. Orban. Yes. Why would he meet with Viktor Orban in a meeting? I don't know. I mean, well, I don't know. Isn't that kind of suspicious? Again, I don't know anything about that. Well, you can look it up. I'm not making up stories. Okay, there's there's a photo of them together. So, would you be willing to take an information sheet, like with 45 examples of him? Praising Hitler, defending Hitler, you know, dead finding Hitler. I, and then I come back and... Okay, you can go, go, go and read it, okay? And have a think about it. Yeah. All right? Are you around here? It's just an interesting point of view because I've never actually considered... I, I find it... I find the Nidrun Pinis and the Nazi... I find that... You might think that I'm being ignorant, but I find that opinion to be, uh, to be ignorant. But there's evidence. So in order to know if the claim were true, you'd have to examine the evidence. Exactly. i got to check that evidence yeah. out and see what it, so it's okay. actually about. Okay. So keep an open mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, I mean, it, it could be that I'm making it up or that I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, or it could be that I'm wrong, but there's, yeah. just, there's just too much evidence. So, in fact, I've written a book about it called The Devil and His Do, How Jordan Peterson Plagiarizes Adolf Hitler. It's rather a lengthy book. So, um, but he's never, he, he has never told people to get together and systematically uh, start murdering people. But why does he praise serial killers? He also praises Karl Panzram. I think he just, I think he just likes intelligent people, and a lot of serial killers are intelligent people. 